The open sea holds many secrets. It is a vast, mysterious expanse where countless stories have been born and lost to the depths. Among these tales, some are more enigmatic than others, capturing the imagination of generations. None more baffling than the tale of the Mary Celeste. This 19th century sailing ship has become synonymous with maritime mystery, a ghost ship whose story has intrigued and puzzled historians and sailors alike. A ship found sailing with no crew, a true ghost ship. The Mary Celeste was discovered adrift, her decks eerily empty, her crew vanished without a trace. What could have led to such an eerie abandonment? Her story is one of mystery and speculation. Over the years, many theories have been proposed, from mutiny to piracy to natural disasters and supernatural occurrences, yet none have provided a definitive answer. It's a story that continues to fascinate us today. Historians and enthusiasts pour over old documents and newspaper clippings, hoping to uncover new clues. Maritime museums dedicate exhibits to this enduring enigma. The year was 1872, a time when the seas were both a highway for commerce and a frontier of the unknown. The DEI Gratia, a British brigantine, was sailing the Atlantic. Her crew, seasoned sailors, were accustomed to the perils of the sea, but nothing could have prepared them for what they were about to encounter. They spotted a ship in the distance, the Mary Celeste. Something was wrong. The ship appeared to be drifting aimlessly, her sails in disarray, and no signs of life on board. The Mary Celeste was adrift. The sight of an abandoned ship on the open sea is a haunting one, raising immediate concerns and questions. Her sails were partially set, but no one was at the helm. The ship seemed to be in a state of suspended animation, as if the crew had simply vanished into thin air. What had happened to the crew? The cabins were empty, the lifeboat still in place. There were no signs of struggle or distress, only an unsettling silence. The DEI Gracia decided to investigate. The crew boarded the Mary Celeste, hoping to find answers. What they discovered only deepened the mystery, leaving us with more questions than answers. The Mary Celeste was not always a ghost ship. Built in 1861 in Nova Scotia, Canada, she was originally named Amazon. She was a merchant ship designed for cargo transport across the Atlantic. The ship was 103 feet long and weighed 282 tons. She changed hands several times and eventually came to be owned by an American businessman. He renamed her the Mary Celeste. The ship underwent repairs and refitting. She was ready for a new chapter in her life. Little did anyone know this chapter would be shrouded in mystery. In November 1872, the Mary Celeste set sail from New York City, her destination, Genoa, Italy. The bustling harbour was filled with the sounds of seagulls and the creaking of wooden ships, a common scene in the 19th century. The Mary Celeste, a sturdy brigantine, was ready for another transatlantic journey. Captain Benjamin Briggs, a seasoned sailor with years of experience navigating the world's oceans, commanded the ship. Known for his meticulous nature and strong leadership, Briggs was highly respected among his peers. He brought his wife, Sarah, and their two-year-old daughter, Sophia, along. The family was looking forward to spending time together during the voyage, a rare opportunity for a captain's family to join him at sea. Seven experienced crewmen completed the ship's company. These men were hand-picked by Briggs for their skills and reliability, ensuring that the Mary Celeste was in capable hands. The cargo was typical for a transatlantic voyage, 1,701 barrels of commercial alcohol. This valuable shipment was intended for the European market, a common trade route of the time. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary as the Mary Celeste embarked on what should have been a routine voyage. The weather was favourable and the ship sailed smoothly through the calm waters of the Atlantic. There were no signs of trouble. The crew went about their daily tasks, maintaining the ship and ensuring everything was in order. The days passed uneventfully, with the ship making steady progress towards its destination. No indication that this journey would become one of history's greatest maritime mysteries. The Mary Celeste would soon be found adrift. Her crew vanished without a trace, leaving behind a legacy of speculation and intrigue that endures to this day. When the DEI Gracia found the Mary Celeste, it was like stepping onto a movie set. Everything was in place, but the actors were gone. The ship was adrift, but in seaworthy condition. 
The cargo was largely intact. There was food and water for six months. The crew's personal belongings were undisturbed. Valuables were left untouched. The ship's logbook was the most puzzling clue. The last entry was 10 days old, recording nothing unusual. The lifeboat was missing. This suggested an orderly evacuation, not a panicked escape. But why would a crew abandon a perfectly seaworthy ship? The mystery of the Mary Celeste has spawned countless theories. Some explanations focus on natural phenomena. Could a sudden and violent storm have swept the crew overboard? Perhaps a water spout, a tornado-like column of water and wind caught the crew off guard. Another theory suggests an underwater earthquake. This could have caused the ship to shake violently, leading the captain to order an evacuation to the lifeboat. However, no major seismic events were reported in the Atlantic during that time. The sea, it seems, held its secrets close. Others believe human actions led to the Mary Celeste's abandonment. Theories abound, each more intriguing than the last. Piracy was a real danger in the 19th century. The open seas were fraught with peril, and pirate ships roamed the waters, seeking vulnerable vessels to plunder. Could the crew have fallen victim to a pirate attack? It's a possibility that has been considered by many historians and maritime experts. This theory has its flaws. While pirates were indeed a threat, the evidence doesn't fully support this scenario. The pirates would have looted the ship and the valuable cargo. They were known for taking everything of value, leaving nothing behind. They wouldn't have left it to drift aimlessly. Mutiny is another possibility. The idea of the crew turning against their captain is a dramatic one. Did the crew turn on their captain, forcing him and his family into the lifeboat? This scenario paints a picture of desperation and conflict. This theory too seems unlikely. The crew had no known grievances and there were no signs of a struggle. Captain Briggs was well respected by his crew. He was known for his fairness and leadership, making mutiny a less plausible explanation. The Mary Celeste's voyage was considered low risk, the route was well traveled and the weather conditions were favorable. There's no record of any disputes or unrest on board. The ship's logbook entries were routine with no indication of trouble. The mystery deepens when considering the lifeboat. It was missing, suggesting the crew may have abandoned ship in an orderly fashion, but why would they leave a perfectly seaworthy vessel? Some speculate that a sudden storm or a perceived threat might have caused panic. Maritime experts continue to debate these theories, examining historical documents and evidence to piece together the puzzle. The Mary Celeste remains one of the sea's greatest mysteries, a ghost ship that continues to captivate our imagination. As the sun sets over the ocean, the unanswered questions linger, a testament to the enduring enigma of the Mary Celeste. Sea monsters and other tales exploring the unexplained the lack of concrete answers has fueled more imaginative theories. Some whisper of sea monsters attacking the ship, dragging the crew into the depths. Others speak of alien abductions, the crew whisked away by beings from another world. While these theories capture the imagination, they lack any real evidence. The mystery of the Mary Celeste remains firmly in the realm of speculation. It's a testament to the power of the unknown and the enduring allure of the unexplained. Unanswered questions, the enduring mystery. The Mary Celeste offers more questions than answers. Why was the ship found in such good condition? What happened to the lifeboat? Where was the crew for those missing 10 days? And why is there no mention of any incident in the ship's log? The lack of definitive answers has kept the mystery alive for over a century. Was it a natural disaster, human error, or something more sinister? The truth lost to the waves continues to tantalize and inspire debate. The Mary Celeste, today legacy of a ghost ship. The Mary Celeste, though lost at sea in 1885, remains a powerful symbol. She is a reminder of the unpredictable nature of the sea. The ship's story serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the fragility of life at the mercy of the vast ocean. The Mary Celeste's legend continues to inspire books, films and documentaries. Each generation grapples with the mystery, offering new interpretations and seeking answers in the vast, silent depths where the ship once sailed. Conclusion. Lost at sea, found in imagination. 
The Mary Celeste is more than just a shipwreck. She is a vessel of our collective imagination. Her story reminds us of the mysteries that endure, the unanswered questions that keep us searching for answers. The sea may hold the truth of what happened to the Mary Celeste, but it is in our minds that the ghost ship truly sails on.